about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind, and it's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind. Yeah, Sersky, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, that boy Max, back once again with the hottest show in the tri-state Midwest region. You know I'm talking about my show, the show, that's right, the Midwest Music Grind with me, your host, that boy Max. And you know who's behind the camera? My homie, Trent Small, holding it down, getting y'all this lovely footage and content that y'all need to see every week. Make sure y'all tune in weekdays, my bad, I'm lying, every Saturday from 5.30 to 6, right here on 98.5 FM, W-E-O-A. Now, y'all know it's springtime, so I hope y'all are getting warmer by the, by, the, by the day. Easter has happened already. We already had the solar eclipse that happened already, which I'm glad that we are still all here. I didn't get my powers. I'm kind of upset about it, but it's okay. I'm just glad to be alive. But it was a definitely once-in-a-lifetime experience. If you didn't see it, I feel bad for you, but I'm sure the entire world seen it from how we were all talking about it right here in the Midwest. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for the homie in the building, Mr. Cool Calm Collective himself. Apollo Gifted is in the building, y'all. What's popping, big dog? How What's you doing? What's going on, big dog? How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling great, man. About time we came up here, man. Man, I've been trying to get you up here for a little bit now. So, hey, I'm here, man. I'm I know, glad. I know, and I'm glad to see it. I love it. I love the merch. I love the little headband. You're Thank the first you, person I think I've seen with an actual headband yes, man. with their merch. Yes. You're making me feel like I need to go out and get some new merch, Come man. Come on, man. Turn me up. Hey, if y'all need it, let me know, man. Man, I'm, what's hey, it going for right quick? Go ahead and tell them. Um, shirts, 25 dollars headbands is 15 Ooh, and you got men's and women's and men's and women's any color you want we Ooh. got crew necks also 35 dollars hoodies 40 Ooh. you know so we we showing love out oh, here man tell him what's going on you baby know, we and we the homie hey and we we ain't missing out on the kids okay you purchase something and you got a kiddo yeah. a baby we got onesies and everything so yes, you know just yes, let sir. me know i know what's going on with, with the with the homie man who you got with you with you by the way i got my man oz with the kid OZ, man oz with the kid what's popping what's good what's good how you doing man I'm just glad to be here to support my man. That's you know what, what I'm love saying? to hear. Support I love real music. to hear it. I love when people come in yeah. with support because that lets me know you got people around you that care about what you do Thanks. and what you bring to the art. Yes. You feel me? So yes, most definitely. If you're not familiar, Apollo, I'm going to break it down to you. We talk about how you got started, what you got, you know, saying coming up, and then what you got going in the future, okay? Okay. So we're going to start you out right now, man, with where did Apollo Gifted come from? Because I know your real name, yes. but where did Apollo Gifted come from? Okay, so just like every rapper that I know, almost, okay. we go through this title thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Turn like me this, up. You know, so I started off as Gifted. Just Gifted? <laughs> just Gifted. Now, how long ago are we talking? I mean, 15 15, 14, 15, 14. Okay. Now, how old are you now? I'm 29. Okay. Now, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. So, I started off then. Yeah. You know, I was kind of shy a little bit. Yeah. I wasn't really comfortable with actually rapping to people, really. Okay. You know, and I grew up with a friend of mine, you know, his Tizzy Bliss. Okay. Taryn Bush. Yeah, yeah. Shout you out, know. Taryn. That's so, the homie, too. Most definitely. So, me, him... And then back then, Scorp was my engineer. Okay, you shout know, out Scorp. Uh, yep, Demario mm -hmm. Warren. And ever since then, man, I just been evolving. Been evolving. You know, evolving. And then I'm like gifted, gifted. Then Wale came out. Mm -hmm. He was the gifted. That's mm -hmm. that was his nickname. So mm -hmm. that's where it all was just like okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Real me in. Let yes. me see. Let me see. So then I'm like, okay, I want to go by Apollo. You know mm. what I'm saying? Stage. Like it's Showtime. Yeah, it's Showtime. It's yeah, Showtime. Stage, like we in big, Harlem. Grand. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, Apollo Gifted. I'm like, yeah, imagine somebody announcing that. Apollo Gifted. Yeah. 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 I like that. I'm, I'm, it, I, I want, yeah. A little light bulb went yeah, off your I head. Want, yeah, I want that. I want that. Yeah, nice. So, nice. And that's how it went right there. Okay. And then it actually, I like I like it. Yeah. And I no, that's good. I wasn't there Have you ever been to New York and actually been to the Apollo? No, and I want to. Bro, I went there one time with the Angry Nerds, man, in New York. We had to perform down there in Brooklyn. That was fun, by the way. Shout out to the Angry Nerds. 
But no, we went the, down there, man, and we were just the doing our little sightseeing. Hip hop. Oh yeah, bro. Like it, it was wonderful to just yeah. get that aura in you and yes. just see it and see the star and see the see the front of it. Get the get the sign and be like, bro. So many people from Michael Jackson, Lauren Hill. So many talented Neo, so many talented stage. artists may have touched that stage. I did, we didn't touch the stage Hawk. though. Yeah. We were just outside, but boy, if I would have went inside, I probably would have turned into Hulk. Man, I was about to say, I ain't seen no pictures, man. Oh no, this is years ago. I was about to say, bro. but I yeah, but I say. will make sure I get you that information and get you that footage too because Please. it was tough, man. It was a good time. Most definitely, man. Bro, so you know I'm about to ask you some questions, man. So what Talk first you drew nicely. you to the world of hip hop and inspired you to become a rapper? Um, okay. When I was young, mm -hmm. the without when I was young, I watched the Five Heartbeats. Bro, classic. 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 Me and my grandma. Duck. Bro, watch <laughs> that movie. It's probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what? That yeah. was my part with the remote. Yeah. Yeah, so that was me. Oh, okay. And, and every and ever since then, I'm like, oh, yeah. I think you're and the then, first person to tell me that a movie inspired you. That is so dope. Oh, yeah. That's what inspired me. Yeah. For real, for real. Besides just uh, regular, you know, of course, music. But right. Max yeah. from a Goofy movie. Yes. Okay. Man. That good evening. Boy. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> well, go ahead, though. My bad. I ain't want to cut you no, off. No, it's all love. But then, that's where, you know, that's where it started. And when I was little, you know, we had the the little Bow Wow area. Yeah. The Romeo Shout out Bow Wow. Air. He gets his flowers you know, quite a bit, man. Yeah. I know, right? He coming up pretty much a lot. So, you know, you just seen that part of hip hop and then you see it just take off like mm -hmm. crazy. You know, so then I'm like, I always loved it. I was always around music, man. Yeah. Always yeah. around music. You know, and mom loved pop, so. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, yeah. So, then you just kind of started picking up a microphone and just started yes, rapping? Yes. What was your first studio session like, man? Nerve wrecking. Uh, how old were you? I was 15, 14, 14 at home studio, 15 in a real studio. Okay. Uh, where was the, the real studio at? CK Newsom Center. Man, I know a lot of people that have Come went on. through there, man, that have went through there. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. And I was, oh, and I was young, when I was younger, um, it was Washington, the Washington, it was like a church or something. Yeah. The WAC, that's what they called it. Okay. And what's his name? What's his name? MC Till. Okay, MC Till. And he had all the kids. Good people. Yes, yeah, he had yeah. all the kids get in there. Bro, shout out to MC, MC Till. Shout out to MC Till, man. That people. is so long ago. If you don't know your history about music around here, boy, MC, MC Till, Till is a household name. Most definitely. That's back when I was starting to do music, bro. That was back so, when, oh my God, yeah. that's so long ago. Yeah, so yeah. That's crazy. Okay, most I did not know that, bro. Most definitely, man. All right. So you've been staying busy for the entire time. I've been seeing you do a lot of stuff online as of lately, man, and yes. everything, man. Uh can you share any personal stories or experiences that you've like, ex you know, experienced in the in the music industry so far? Um, yes, I've like on this journey in music. I don't only do music. You see, I fell in love with engineering as mm -hmm. well. You know, and it was just something I thought I was like, okay, I want to write. You know, this is all I want to do. I want to write. And one time, I was just I was in the I was in the studio with Scort. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, man, I thought what I did was Im so important, which it is. Yeah. But it's so much other stuff that goes into it. Man, it's so much into engineering and just the whole craft oh. of music in general. Just the mood on how you even feel about the song, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I took that. And now them two is just like my babies right there. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, I, I haven't really had no bad experiences with music. That's a good thing, You man. know, so. That's a good thing. And I think that comes from me, like, actually... Kind of staying to myself because I was real shy at first. Yeah, I didn't like rapping in front of people. I didn't like doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. People ask me that I did mu did I even do music? I probably even tell you no. Yeah, yeah, don't do that though because I, if you're gonna do this right here, this yeah, this, this yes. crap right here, you're gonna have to get over yes. stage fright. Oh and yeah, all that. but that's that was when I was you know when I was younger, mm -hmm. you know. But then I got comfortable with putting things out. Good. And yeah. So uh, let me see here, man. Um, what themes or messages do you try to convey through your music? Um, I feel like it's a good in everything. Yeah. So I don't really be, try to be the person to say, this is bad. Or, you know, this is, we all have life to live. We right, all, we all got a different life, life whatever sure. it is. You know, I'm not to, here to tell you what to do, what is right or wrong. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you know what's right or wrong. Right. right. So whatever you choose to do, 
this probably would have come out of it, you know, but that's what it is. That's just life. Yeah. That's just life. Sure. I just rap. I love rapping about life, you know. Oh, yeah. No, fun. if you can, if you know your music and people are familiar with your music, yeah. you do have a little bit more of hip hop yes. to your music, a little bit more of some storytelling most to definitely. your music, which is nothing wrong with that. A little bit yes. more substance to yes. your music. Yes, most definitely. Which is which I think is great. You know, yes. I've I've actually been happy to be able to collab with you, bro. And yes, we got some man. great music already come out. Most definitely. I'm I'm cool that, with that. Yes. <laughs> but how do you approach the process of writing your songs? Um I let that beat play, man. I let that beat play and whatever like whatever I feel Whatever I'm feeling, man, mm-hmm. you know, because the beat says different things to you. Oh, you yeah. Know, whether Every beat, beat speaks yeah. to you differently. So it's just like, it all starts off with that mumble, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, Ooh, that's, that's, that's that top this, lining. You know, this right, you know, and then after that. But that's how it really starts, just listening to that beat, letting that beat play, letting your mind work, you know, as soon as you capture that idea and it runs, you yeah. know, you got something. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Then when you're able to capitalize on that idea yes. and just keep the thing flowing, you're surprised yeah. when you look up when it's done. And it's like a, most the most greatest feeling that you can really experience besides other 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 feelings about other things, man. Yeah, like if you haven't definitely. got never done that before, I suggest that you do. Yeah. But I definitely know what you're saying. I love it every time that I still do it. And I've been doing this for a very long time and I still get Goosebumps, chills, yeah, like, ideas, the big giddy face, the big smile, yes, the vision. Like, oh, I gotta call my, I gotta call Trent, hey Trent, bro, look, this is what I got for this video right now. And I ain't wrote the song yet. So I got a video chat. Look, right, you right, ain't heard right. this shit. No, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. So, um, how do you navigate the balance between staying true to your artistic divi- or vision and meeting the demands of the music industry? Um, I feel like, as long as you're, you're real, you know, mm-hmm. authentic. Yeah, as long as you're authentic, you'll be okay. Honestly, as long as you're authentic. And when I say authentic, I mean staying true to you. You mm-hmm. see, like, and you you can tell when somebody's not staying true to their self. Right. You right. know, but just staying true to you, and I feel like it comes out better that way. Right. It's not forceful. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Now, have you done any recent shows as of late? Oh, no, I haven't done any shows lately. I've been. Mixing, mm-hmm. working on my working own on your other on yeah. your other craft. Okay. My, my clothing line. Cool yeah, no, no, ain't nothing wrong you with know. that. Uh-huh. So, you're, but you're staying active. Though. Yes, most definitely. Most and you gonna definitely. do some shows in the future? Oh yes, I am. The okay. summer, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do some shows in the summer. Okay, most bet, definitely. Bet. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I check you out, man. Uh, what about music? Like, I know you got some new music coming. Yes. What do you got coming? Okay, I have a couple, a couple songs for the drop. I'm not dropping a, really a project. Mm-hmm. For the summer, I got a couple songs. Couple one singles. is yes, one of them is my "Take My Time." Mm-hmm. That's what it's called, "Take My Time," and I want y'all to be looking for that one right there. Take my time, most definitely. But what do you got out right now? I know you just dropped a few, oh, uh, a few videos. Okay, as so of late too. Okay, so I dropped a, a EP. Mm-hmm. On it's on all platforms. Just look okay. up Apollo Gifted on any platform. Okay, so it's called Untitled. Untitled because it's just. A little different feelings of different things. A little bit things. of this, yeah. a little bit of that. You know, yeah, most definitely. So it's a little bit of something for everybody to be able to just ride to, kick it, yes. chill out. Yes, and if you do look at my name, I have different projects on there, you know, so you you can get your taste get for familiar. whatever you like, most definitely. Nice, nice. That's what I like to hear, man. So you got any new videos coming up then? Um, Videos coming up. Well, I just shot one. I just shot one with EB. Um, EB going I, crazy, ain't yeah, he? man, he's going crazy. crazy. Shout out to him. Um... I have something in the works. I don't want to speak on it okay. too too early, okay. but I'm going to say like June 10th. June 10th. Yes. Mark your calendars, everybody. June 10th. Be ready, day. y'all. Yes. Okay. June 10th, y'all. Give me some words of encouragement for uh, for the people out there coming up in the music industry right now. Independent. Um, Keep grinding. I know it gets overwhelming for us all. You know, scrolling on timeline, trying to keep up with everything, post every day, trying to stay relevant, still live a normal life. Some of us still working nine to five, got to be a parent to your kids. Man, facts. It, it, is, yeah. it, it can get crazy for people who just say, oh, he's trying to be a rapper or people look at rappers and say, oh, his little rap career or that. No, it's it's some 
it's some work that goes into it. Facts. Most definitely. So just keep grinding and keep going. Keep and, grinding and, and you going you what they say, pressure bus pipes. That's right. So what song you bring up for us today? Um today I brung uh Give me something. Uh okay, turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. I got you turn it up today. Turn it up. It's going to debut right here on 98.5 FM WEOA. Yes. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, we drop it. Give them your socials one more time, man, because I'm okay. here this joint. Most definitely. Um, On Facebook, it's just Kentarion Peg You. On Instagram, it's Kentari- well, Apollo.Peg You. Everywhere else, Apollo Gifted on every um, platform. My YouTube is Apollo TV. Okay. Apollo Most definitely, TV. yes. It's going down, y'all, with the homie Apollo Gifted is in the building for the Midwest Music Grind right here on 98.5 FM, W-E-O-A. Got his homie Wiz with him, too. Yes, most Let's definitely. Shout on, out to man. Wiz, man. Yes, sir. For sure, man. I'm just glad that we're getting into, we're getting closer to summer a little bit, but I'm loving this spring vibe right now. So yes, the spring go. vibe is cool, but yeah, like I said, that turn it up, I feel like it's going to be good for the time right now, mm-hmm. you know, for people to have fun. Yeah. And like you said, we got some bacon in the oven, too, so we're going to be bacon in the oven, we, gonna be. Yo, we, song. we gonna be cool, man. Yes, sir. Turn it up, y'all, with Apollo Gifted right here on 98.5 FM WEOA. We're gonna catch y'all next week for another new episode of the Midwest Music Grind. Let go. Let go. Bow. It's about that time for the Midwest Music Grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest Music Grind. And it's about that time for the Midwest Music Grind. Independent artists shine It's the Midwest Music Grind